y'all this is Dina welcome to my channel I am back with my next back to the basics video um, what I'm going to show you tonight is how to create two kinds of envelopes I'm going to be using these super cute little papers I have these in my stash and I thought they would make some pretty cute um, envelopes so let's just get started I'm going to start with this one right here and the first one that we're going to do is we're going to create a policy envelope okay so policy envelopes are just like the long envelopes you can put cash in or whatever but we're going to create one that's maybe a little bit larger so um let's just go ahead and i think i'm going to start this one let's see if we can do um let me see three inches and three inches folded over okay i think i can do um, I think we're going to start at four inches and then I think I will go over to nine. So we've got four and nine. I'm going to turn it and then I'm going to score at one inch and then I'm going to score at 11. Easy, right? Okay, so all you're going to do is you're going to fold on your score lines. Just make sure if you're using a directional print like I'm using right now that you just... Uh, Make sure the long way is the pretty side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold on this one. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm gonna fold the top one. Now, if you already know how to make policy envelopes, maybe you needed a refresher. You know, you never know. And if you don't know how to make them, this is really for you. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you've got your fold, and down here we're gonna start at the bottom, and I'm gonna go to the left of my little score line, cut up to that score line right there. See how it cuts to there? And then I'm gonna come over here to this side, and I'm gonna go about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch up, and then I'm going to cut to that score line and cut that part off. Gonna do the same thing over here, but this time I'm gonna go to the right of my score line. Actually, I'm sorry, we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go to the right of my score line. And then I'm gonna go turn it and go up about a quarter of an inch and just try to cut myself like that. So this is what it leaves you with, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the top. Go ahead, cut, and then I'm going to cut this side off. So, and then I'm going to do this side, cutting to that line, and then I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch down. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of guesstimate and then all you're going to do is you're going to take your your papers your flaps and you're going to take it and you're going to fold it in hey look how that kind of lined up pretty well there so now what you're going to do is you're going to take either your glue or you can take your tape i'm going to try my glue i'm going to need to fill up this bottle soon so you can see how far it goes over, which is great. It's going to not break and nothing will fall out of your envelopes. It's not too close. If you wanted to make this a little wider, you would have space to do that. I put myself a little strip going over on this side. And I'm just going to fold this over and smooth it down. And all you're going to do is you're going to fold at the bottom. Fold this one up. So now you've got your envelope. It's a nice long one. You can make it shorter if you want. And then what I like to do is I like to add a little piece of double-sided tape for the top flap. That way then when you're ready to use it, you just peel it off and uh, just fold it over. Now, if you want to give like a, like several of these as a gift, then you can just make them in different prints and just bunch them together, put a beautiful ribbon around them 
and that's it. That would be so simple. So this is a sweet and simple policy envelope. Let's put that to the side. Now we're going to pull out this one right here. Okay. So what you're going to do now is we're going to make a we're going to make a regular envelope, and I'm not going to use my envelope punch bowl. It's this simple, y'all. That's the thing on my paper here. All you're going to do is you're going to fold it over. I'm going to find the corner. Okay. Then I'm going to take it and take my other corner and, and go up to the corner. Find the corner. So now I have found, let me get a pencil here. Okay. So now I have found my center. Okay. So now you know where your center is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take one of my one of my corners up to that center and fold it down. Okay? Then you're going to take the other side, fold it into that center and fold it down. And now you're going to take this one and you're going to fold this one up just like that. One. Now you can go up a little higher if you like. I think I'll go up a little bit higher. I'm going to line up my sides, and then I'm going to use a little school score tool here, and here we go. And then all you're going to need to do now is you're going to fold this one where it's going to, you want this to overlap, so I'm going to fold it where I'm fold, trying to fold down the center. Fold it down. You've got yourself a nice big envelope here. Now you can make your you can make your envelopes a little smaller if you want, but I just decided just to go for this since it's a demonstration. Now what I'm going to do is open this up, and I'm going to clip where these corners are just to reduce bulk. You can round your corners. Do the top. If you didn't want to put an X in the center, you can just kind of mark it, like with kind of crease it, call it a day. And one more. Get those out of the way. So now I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold these in. Okay. And then all you're going to do is you're going to grab your glue or you can put tape. I'm going to put it on both sides like this and kind of fold it down, press it where the glue is, and then now you've got a big one. And for this one, just like I did the policy envelope, I'm going to add double-sided tape. Okay, I'm going to tape on this side and there you go and I'm not going to pull that off that way then if I want to use it then all, your, all you have to do is peel it off and ready to go now you have two large envelopes now again you can make yours smaller maybe we should do one a little bit smaller let's do that let me grab a piece of paper so let's do one a little bit smaller so I'm going to cut myself a piece of paper um, let's go with a six by six. Okay. So I'm going to take my charmer and I'm going to cut my paper and six by six. So I have six and I'm going to cut it at six. Okay. So now we're going to make a baby envelope. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it, fold it from the corner to corner, diagonal, do a little press. Little press. Now I've got my center and I'm just going to fold up to that center. Turn it around. Fold up to my center. Fold it. I'm going to take this in, I'm going to fold it up, and I'm going to let my sides go up just a little bit. Okay, let it go up about a half an inch. 
And then the top piece, I'm gonna let it, let it overlap about a half an inch as well on each side, just like that. And then you're gonna open it, cut these little pieces off in the corner, or you can leave them, that's up to you. I'm gonna cut these little pieces. This is how we make envelopes before the envelope punch board. Now, is the envelope punch board easy? Sure, but this is back to the basics. And I'm gonna cut, okay? So now I've got my envelope ready to roll. I'm gonna take it, add my glue. And press it up. Now I've got my envelope. It's ready to go. And then for this one, I'm gonna add some smaller double-sided tape. I'm gonna use an eighth of an inch since it's smaller. Add my tape. Okay, and there we go. Let me trim this one. And that's it, y'all. I've got three envelopes right here. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that you gave it a try. We'll give it a try. Policy envelopes. You can make them as tall as short as you want make your paper smaller um, these right here if you make them smaller they make great little uh, gift card envelopes as well um, and you can bunch them all up bunch all your envelopes up and, and just give them as gifts and just use all kinds of different beautiful paper it'd be just beautiful and uh, put a beautiful bow on them and a, and a tag and easy simple little gifts that you could include in swaps or even just send someone that you love you know maybe a sister or a good friend or whatever yeah that's it, y'all. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I will um, come back soon with another one. I'm going to still include all my other stuff, but I'm going to do these randomly for a little bit, and I hope that you're enjoying them, and I hope you find them helpful. If you do, don't forget to uh, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help me, and um, if you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate your subscription. Anyway, thanks so much, everyone. Love you guys. Bye.